One of my favorite genres of books are thrillers. It always gets me excited how they go about choosing who the culprit is and their motives behind it. I think most people love thrillers or crime novels because they can try to guess who the culprit is before it is revealed, which is also what I love doing too. But because there are many characters that are normally introduced, and the culprit is usually the one that is the least suspected, or least mentioned, it's difficult to make note of the characters involved sometimes. The Tenant is a book about a young student that passed away in her own apartment, found by an elderly neighbor that had fallen near the body when he tripped down the stairs. What makes this fictional murder an interesting read is how the victim's body was carved and slashed so aggressively that it makes us wonder, Who could have been this angered by the young female to have taken the time to do this? If you want to go straight into the book review, skip to the last timestamp to avoid any spoilers. Also, check out my Ko-Fi page for the latest updates as well as resources to my book reviews. The author. Katrine Engberg has quite a range of career paths that she's done over the course of the years. From being an actress to a choreographer and now an author, she is known for book genres as a crime novelist. What I thought was interesting is that this book initially debuted under the name Crocodile Guardian, which would have been a suitable name for the reference it made towards the end of the storyline. If the book title made a reference to the story of the crocodile, it would have made more of an impact to the reader. Though, the title being short and sweet might have been the best marketing move, as most people would have The Tenant as a more memorable and alluring name to read. Hepe. Throughout the story, I was always back and forth with his character. There were little moments that he'd interact with people that I'd understand his point of view. For example, handing his co-worker a wet wipe after she pet a dog after the dog was licking her hand. I can see why it's unsanitary if they were planning to eat right after, and she still had saliva on her hands. Though this was the start of his distaste towards his co-worker, it continues on about how he'd stare at her body. Not with curiosity or attraction, but by breaking down the fact that she eats to de-stress and it leads to her gaining weight. It seemed like, to him, he was better than Annette in many ways, when he was no different from her, possibly worse in character. In a larger picture, there are times where, during the time they are looking for the killer, he has the same mindset as his co-workers in terms of who to look for, who might be under suspicion, etc. But when they say it out loud, he dismisses their idea as a whole, or gives an answer that makes them want to question their thought process. Maybe he's just playing devil's advocate to make himself see a different point of view, but that tactic of attempting to sound cool makes his character unlikable because he sounds ignorant. I didn't understand why his divorce became the sidebar story from the crime. All it added was the sexual frustration he had now that he wasn't in a relationship anymore, and that sort of information I felt was unnecessary to read. The ending also included how his wife moved on and how he was still upset about the divorce, but was also glad that she's living a better life. The disadvantage to feeling whole with another human being is that when they go, you're left with half a person at most. While I enjoyed reading this quote, it would have had more impact if we understood the reason why they divorced. There was no big moment that wrapped everything together to make this last statement before the actual ending of the book. The divorce was mentioned here and there, but didn't add to the storyline at all, or made me feel a sense of empathy for Hepe's character. It was odd that the ending was wrapped around his marriage when there was no emotion for the reader to attach to. In a way, it felt like a chunk of the book was taken out for the readers to have context as to why the divorce was important enough to become the ending. Because of the author planting the seed that Hepe's personality became the way it was after the divorce, I was hoping at some point that he was going to be the murderer or an accomplice of sorts. He wasn't just a character that I found comfort in or related to because he felt off-putting. That's part of the reason why I didn't understand why his divorce was mentioned any deeper than the superficial things he was going through. We as readers understand that someone going through a divorce will have a difficult time, but whether or not we have or have not gone through it, the book was supposed to give either a sense of relatability or teach the readers what mental hoops someone goes through during this time. But because of how little it was mentioned, it had little to no impact, which made me a little disappointed that the ending didn't just end with the case. It felt as though the divorce was just an excuse for Hepe to be rude to other people for the sake of being rude because of how difficult going through a divorce would be. Not to mention that his relationship with Anna didn't go anywhere, 
besides adding fan service for the readers, which, as I said, was unnecessary. I felt like there could have been more details put into that aspect of Hepe's life to make us understand his character, but overall, I leaned more towards disliking him, which maybe was the point of the author making him the main character. Writing Style there were moments when certain words would catch me off guard because it wouldn't follow the flow of the usual writing style. This pattern usually happens when the writer is using adjectives that don't match one or the other, so it disrupts the flow of the writing. I didn't like that there were moments where the book writes deep quotes here and there, but it doesn't sound anything like the character that's saying these things. A good chunk of the characters here seem very strict towards their jobs. Meaning, they don't seem to banter with one another in the workplace, and if they do, it sounds more like a judgmental jab at the person rather than actually making a joke. But for the sake of reeling in a quote that people can remember, they decide to change the character's way of speaking just for that moment, before continuing on with the story. I can't imagine Stender, a man that's just been a ball of anger, stop and say, when you've been looking into an abyss for a long time, the abyss starts looking back into you. Book review. To be honest, when I first read the book, I almost stopped reading it because of how many times the author would attempt to break the fourth wall. I've always seen people do this in a comedic manner, but in a book with a serious context like this one, it was frustrating to constantly see the words, it's like we're in a crime novel, or are we in a book or something, or anything along the lines of that. Considering the storyline also goes along with the fact that the murderer was based off of an author's rough draft, made the extra commentary too over the top. There were also moments in the story where certain parts come off as a strong quote, one that would be thought-provoking or deep, but after finishing the sentence, it just leaves me dumbfounded because it just doesn't sound right to me. For example, it's no coincidence that the heart has become the symbol of love, because when someone loves and loses, grief sits in the chest, just to the left. Reading through the entire book, I'd say I'd recommend this to someone who wants to start reading crime novels. It's still different enough to have twists and turns that aren't too obvious, and the theatrical concepts from The Murderer was an interesting read. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Again, please check out my Ko-Fi page for the most recent updates. I also post my book review resources and transcripts, YouTube upload updates, and the first few book chapter notations of books that I've recently read. To read more annotations, you can unlock my book club tier. As always, Jace.